Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am resuming the second part of that cold routing. So today I'll show you all the configuration like cold routing, uh, like how we can add the route pattern, route list, route group, gateways, and the translation pattern as well. And I will also I will also discuss about the SLRG as well in the device pool. So let's start with the routing part okay let me log in on the CSEM first and then we can start the configuration okay so we are going to start with the gateway so we will first add the gateway and then we will proceed further with the <clears throat> route list route group and the route patterns so first you need to go to the device click on gateway then just click on add new then we can just choose the gateway type so right now we, I'm choosing here as an H323 gateway. After that, you can just give the device name. So I will just give the device name as test H323 gateway. And device pool, we can select as of now, like it's default, but you can choose it that depends on your company's requirement or the configuration. And then you can just click on save. So let's apply config first. And then we can move on to the call routing part, click on call routing, route slash and, and then we will just uh, configure the route group first because that route group should contain the gateway which we just created. So let's configure the route group first. Uh, we can click add new. We can just uh, give the route group name. So as of now I'm giving test route group one and then you can use the distribution algo here as well as it is showing two options that is top down approach or the circular approach so it depends like if you have five gateways which you are going to add in this route group and you are using the top down approach then when it will take the first gateway and then if everything is like busy there then it will go to the second third fourth and fifth and if we are choosing the circular one, then it will take the first gateway first and then second, third, fourth, fifth, then first, second, third, fourth, fifth, like this. So if in the in the top in the top down approach, it will take the first gateway all the time. So if everything is busy on the first gateway, then it will move to the second one. Otherwise, if otherwise it will hit the first gateway first every time. So right now I can choose anything like top down as well as circular because I am going to add only this one gateway that is test H323 gateway, which I just added. So I can add this gateway as well as the trunk, which I already created earlier. So I can add both the things and then we can choose the top down or circular approach, anything. So as of now, let me just add this test H323 gateway on this route group. So let me click on add to route group and then let me add this trunk as well just for reference and so that i can show you like how it will show up here and we can choose we can choose the priority as well let me add this trunk as well so after adding the trunk it is just showing both the things like i added test st 3 gateway first and then Sip trunk, which I already created earlier. So if I want to just change the order, then I can just uh, change it from here as well. 
So now, now let me discuss this top down and circular approach again. So in the top down, if you are making a call and it is coming to this route group and it is selecting this H323 gateway, if all the ports of this H323 gateway is busy, then it will move that call to this SIP trunk to cover all ports, this SIP trunk. It will choose this SIP trunk. And if we are using the circular approach, then in the circular, first call will go to this test gateway. The second call will go to the SIP trunk to cover. Third call will go to the test. Fourth call will go to the SIP trunk. So this is the main difference between top down and circular. Let me just save it so that our route group will save. And after this route group, we will create the route list. So route group is successful. Let me create the route list now. In this route list, I will show you two things like the first gateway as well, which you just created. You can, you can just add the route group as well here. And that route group already contains that gateway and trunk. And you can add the local route group that is SLR, the standard local route group as well. You can add that one as well. That depends on your requirement and the configuration. So let me just add this route list. Let me just give the name test route list. And you can, can just add this one. And in the COCM group, as of now, uh, I'm just choosing default one. You can choose the other groups, which contains all the subscribers. So this route list is created now. Now I need to add the route group in this route list. So I'm going to click on this add route group. So under this add route group, you will be able to see our route group, which we created and the local route group as well. So once I click on this drop down, that is route group, you will be able to see the first one is standard local route group. The other one is test route group one, which I just created. So I can choose anything test route group one, which I created or the SLRG as well. I hope the concept is clear SLRG and test route group. Let me just uh, give a brief about this SLRG again. So you will choose this SLRG once you have like different sites and you want to just uh, uh, you want to make your call from that particular sites gateway that is local gateway then you need to choose this standard local route group because you are going to use the same pattern in on all the sites like in noida delhi hyderabad bangalore mumbai you are going to use the same pattern but you need your call to go outside through your particular sites gateway, then you need to choose this standard local route group. If, if I choose this test route group one, then, then this call will take every time this call will take that particular gateway, whether you are at different site or at the same site, because I already added one gateway on this test route group. And if I use the standard local route group, then I need to choose the SLRG in that particular device pool. I will choose the, that particular device gateway in that site's device pool so that it will take every time it will take that particular site's gateway. I will show you in that device pool as well. So let me just take the test route group one here first. Then you can, if you want to do any changes like using calling parties, external phone number mask. If you want to change anything, discard it, then you can do that. Let me just save this route list first. So this route test, this route group is already added here in this route list. You can see it here. It is showing test route group. Let me save it again. So our route list is added, route group is added, gateway is added. Now the last thing which is left is route pattern. Let me just add the route pattern as well. Let me add new. Okay, here I'm using like for an external calls, which I 
give an example like i i am just choosing nine for the external calls and once you hit nine from your phone it will just give you another tone so that you can just enter the number so i'm using here as nine dot add it means you can add as many numbers as you want after nine that means any number and you can choose uh, any type of number any type of not no you can say you can choose any uh, any numbers like five numbers 10 numbers 50 numbers anything and after that you need to choose the route partition so i haven't created anyone so i'm just choosing like maybe i can choose even 64 or any other none partition that depends actually you will be able to reach this route part this route pattern only if you have this route patterns partition added in your css if you are not clear about the css and partitions you can check my another video on css and partitions i will provide you the link on the i button so that depends on this route partition whether you are able to reach this route pattern or not so i can just uh, give the description as call to external numbers and then numbering plan you can just choose the north american numbering plan here so after that the main thing which you need to choose that is gateway slash route list so you can choose direct gateway as well in this route pattern or you can choose the route list as well which we just created so once i click on this drop down it will show the gateway as well as the route list so it is showing the route test route list it is not showing the gateway here because i already added that gateway so you can choose the gateway here only if that gateway is not added anywhere only then you can choose the gateway here so as of now i already added that gateway in that route group and then the route list so i can choose this route list here another thing you need to just choose the route option like as of now uh, i'm just allowing this pattern like it is showing route this pattern and if you want to block the external numbers like nine or that you can click on the block this pattern and you can just uh, uh, give the error like if someone is calling the external numbers and you already blocked this pattern on your on your site or on your in your company then you can just uh, uh, give the error messages in number change in valid format precedence level exceed or unallocated number anything so as of now i am allowing this pattern so i will click on route this pattern another thing which you need to check here which you need to like configure if you want to you can just change the calling party as you can see the options calling party transformations and this is cold party transformation so if you want to add anything like calling party transform mask if you want to add if you want to add anything as a prefix digits so you can add it here and this is cold party transformation like if you're calling 9.0111234567 if you want to change anything then you can change it here so main thing which you need to like change it here is discard digits as you are using nine just for the external and after that nine you are entering the number like if it is going to pst and pst will not accept the call like as nine one one two three because that depends on the e164 standard and that nine and then the 10 digits number or 11 digits number depends on the specific country's requirement so your pstn will not accept so you need to just you need to just discard this uh, nine that is pre dot so i can show you here in the discard digit because we are calling the number that we need to change it in the called party transformation because we are calling the other party's number that will be a called party so in this discard digits we can choose pre dot so it will discard all the digits which are before that dot so it will just discard nine and then it will send the rest of the numbers to the provider to the pstm if you want to add anything called body transfer mask you can add if you want to add prefix on the outgoing calls you can add the prefix here as well and then click on save
so it is showing at successful so everything is got like successfully configured like we configured the route pattern we configured the route list we configured the route group we configured the gateways as well now let me show you the translation pattern so we can go to the call routing and then you can go to the translation pattern and i will show you why it is hitting the translation pattern first like why is it not hitting the directory number or the route pattern first why is it hitting the translation pattern first so translation pattern like uh, i can just uh, uh, take an example if i'm just using the five digits and i can just give the translation patterns to xxxx so it will be from 200012 to 2999 we uh, we can just assume this is our internal five digits extension and then the same thing partition you need to choose the partition here and this partition should be added in that phone's css through which you are making a call only then you will be able to uh, hit this translation pattern okay so translation pattern 2xxx like i can just give here as five digits plan so after that you need to choose like if you want to choose calling search spaces if you want to like go to the other things then you need to choose the calling search space as well i haven't like created any calling search space and that's why i am unable to choose it so let me do one thing let me just choose the none partition as well as the none css so that they will be able to reach each other and after that if you want to route this pattern or block this pattern you can do that you can block this pattern as well like if you want to restrict your users to uh, make a call to the 2xxxx numbers 200012999 to then you can just block this pattern otherwise you can route this pattern and that the main thing is if you want to provide an outside dial tone or not after putting this one and the next thing which is the main thing that is urgent priority if this urgent priority is checked then it will check it then that call will check translation pattern every time whenever that whenever the person is making a call so that's why it is hitting the translation pattern first because we checked urgent priority here on the translation pattern we can we can check this one as well in the route pattern as well but as of now it depends on our configuration we need to check everything in the translation pattern first that's why we are clicking this urgent priority and this is checked by default actually you want to change if you want to change you can change it so now the next thing uh you are making a call to the 2521231 21234 like you are making a call to 21234 that is just for the uh, just for the ease of end user but on the back end it should reach out to that even 64 standard like 10 digits number if we talk about the india plan so if you are making 21234 but the main number is something else like that should be of 10 digits number so if you want to like add anything in the calling party transformation then you can add it but as of now here you need to add it in the call party transformation because you are making a call to the another number if you just like just you are making a call to 21234 so if you want to prefix anything you can if you want to just change the called party transformation transform mask then you can as well let me just add the prefix digits here like you are making a call to 21234 that is five digits number but i i have to make it as a 10 digits number so let me just add this one as well let me i'm just taking an example of gauss number so i'm just adding plus 124 that is the area code of that gurgaon and then the gurgaon number should be like so i think that is for the seven digits so 124 just an example i'm just adding 4 5 here and then number starts with 2 xxxx that is 2 1 2 3 4 so it should like it should be of 10 digits 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 that is e164 standard so it is meeting the criteria so now i am just prefixing the digits so i don't need to add this 2 1 2 3 4 i am just prefixing so it will add plus 1 2 4 4 5 
on every call the user is making to the two xx xx number so it will so once you will hit two one two three four from your phone it will add plus one two four four five and then it will add two one two three four so the whole number would be plus one two four four five two one two three four this will be the whole number and once it once once the whole number is there like they already transformed it then it will check the same number in the directory number and if it is able to find it then it will just ring that number so we can we can yeah sorry we can just add this here plus one two four four five and then i can click on save okay so add is successful so i hope i hope the translation pattern route pattern route list route group and the gateway part is clear to you let me let me come back to the uh, slrg that is under the device pool so let me show it to you guys as well so you need to click on the system and then you can go to the device pool You can click on add new. So here, once you just add the device pool name, let me just add as a test device pool. I'm just showing it to you guys. So you can add the CUCM group as of now, I'm just uh, putting it as default. Let me show you where you can add that standard local route group. So here, the settings you need to choose date, time group, region and all other things like these are the mandatory things so here that standard local route group so it is showing local route group settings then here you need to choose standard local route group so once you click on this standard local route group drop down you will be able to see that route group here so you you choose that route group like you can choose the route groups and then you can choose the particular sites gateway in this route group so you can choose the route group. So if I create any other route group, test route group two, and I will just change the priority, like first one would be the trunk and second one would be the gateway. So it will show you the both route groups. So it depends on my requirements, my, my company's requirement, like how I can how, how I am configuring the things. So here standard local route group. So once you choose this route group, it contains that particular sites gateway and this device pool will this device pool will be on those phones that are on that particular site so if someone is making a call from that particular site which has this device pool so all external calls will go from this gateway like because we already chosen the standard local route group in that our uh, route list configuration after route list we configured the route group and in that route group you need to choose the, whether this route group or the standard local route group if you choose standard local route group then it will come to this device pool to check which gateway is added in this standard local route group so we already added test route group one and it already has that particular sites gateway so it will make a call from that particular site gateway. So if you are at any different site, let, let, let it be like you are on the Hyderabad or Bangalore. So you will be, you will be calling from that particular site's phone. Their device pool would be different. So you will be making a call from Hyderabad's number and you are just making a call by choosing the same pattern then it will hit the route group and in the route group it will show the standard local route group this thing and then in that particular sites device pool you will be adding the particular sites route group and that particular site group that hyderabad site group that hyderabad route group contains the hyderabad's local gateways so that it will make a call from that particular sites that hyderabad sites gateway because this slrg is added in this device pool and this and the hyderabad's device pool is already added there on those hyderabad devices hyderabad phones devices so that the every call from different different sites will go from that particular sites gateway 
I hope this thing like SLRG and all other things are clear to you. If if anything is not clear, just let me just let me know in the in the comment section. I will surely help you out on that. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, like video on the part of uh, routing, like uh, uh, translation pattern, route list, route group, route group, and the gateways. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if, if you like really enjoyed this video and if you want to uh, see all other videos or other my upcoming videos, then please like, share and subscribe it and please press the bell icon so that you will be able to receive the notifications of my new upcoming videos. Thank you.